In this session, we're going to take a brief look at the next area of the syllabus on job, batch and service costing. Now, this is a reasonably small area of the syllabus. All we've got here, first of all, job costing, where you may be asked to calculate the cost for a particular job that a company has carried out for a customer. Remember, in a job costing environment, each of our customer orders is unique in some way. So we would gather the costs associated with that particular order. The costs you need to think about are our direct materials, direct labor, our production overhead cost, and you may be asked to add on some non-production cost allocation. In a service costing environment, The key thing to remember is that in a service costing environment, the problem we have is establishing the cost per service cost unit. You just calculate this as being equal to our total period costs divided by the number of service units provided. Now, just the final area of this part of the syllabus I want to remind you of. Just an add-on, alternative costing systems. It's a newer area of the syllabus, potentially one that will come up as a nice little theory question, but only if you know the theory. So remember, you just need to understand the principles of a couple of other costing systems, including activity-based costing, or ABC, target costing, and life cycle costing. So these are the key areas then for this particular section. Just having a quick look at a question. We're asked which of the following best describes target costing. Now, a reminder then, target costing. How do we calculate a target cost per unit? Well, our approach here is that we start with a target price. So the price we believe customers will be prepared to pay for our product. Now, presumably, we want to earn a profit margin on each unit we sell. So then we adjust for our target profit margin. We subtract that from our target price to calculate our target cost per unit. So we then need to look at our activities, at our factory environment, to ensure that our cost per unit is at this target level. So bearing that in mind, which of the following statements best describes target costing? Option A, setting a cost by subtracting a desired profit margin from a competitive market price. Well, that is exactly what we have just done. So the correct answer then is A.